Today we're going to talk about hardy frames. In other videos we've already talked about shear walls and foundation bolts and hold downs, all that good stuff. But for right now, we have a garage right here. Yeah, we tore it down, but we're going to put a second floor on. But So we, we have an, a big door from here over to here. So on both sides, this side and this side of the garage, we want to put what's called a hardy frame. What is that? It's, a, it's an engineered frame that will give you 10 feet of shear wall and 2 feet, for example. So right now, this is our garage right here. This is the opening we just looked at. We were over there looking at the garage. Here's the garage, here's the opening. From here all the way to here. But how do you get that stability with, with this uh, door so large? How do you get that stability, that lateral stability? What we do is, let me go to the little cheap plug for Kevin of Architecture 350. A lot of mid-century moderns in West Los Angeles, Palisades. What we do is, we put what's called a hardy frame. It's a steel frame that we put into a foundation on both sides and put a beam all the way across. What that does is this frame is so rigid and strong that combined with this beam on top and a grade beam on bottom. So that's just telling me, I mean, our foundation, we have a big concrete pad here with a steel frame, big concrete pad, the steel frame, and between them is a grade beam. What does that look like? And we're going to show you what that looks like uh, the next video when it's done. So we have one pad here that you saw, another pad over there, really deep, and then on top that goes a steel frame. These are only 18 inches wide by 8 feet tall, and they connect to a beam we're going to put all the way across here. We'll show you that later in this video if I can figure out how to edit it. So what connects these two pads over here so it acts all together in unison is a grade beam. We were lucky enough when we did the demo, there wasn't supposed to be a grade beam here, but there is. A grade beam is this giant you know, uh, one foot wide by about 18 or 24 inches deep with rebar, and it also has rings around it. So these four rebars coming this way, and then every 16 inches all the way across, or every 12 inches, I'm not sure what this one has, um, rings around it. So making this a really a structural uh, beam out of concrete. All right, so we're going to uh, show you what the hardy frames look like next, and the hardy frame hardware that we put in there. Okay, now we have both the thread threaded rods in. So the space on the top is perfect, but more importantly, on the bottom they have a spacer as well, making sure that both these rods are parallel and they'll fit on that hardy frame perfectly. Because um, that hardy frame is, has very little uh, room for error. There's not much play in there. All right, so that's what's going to hold this down. Well, this 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 part of the shear wall down. Okay, now we have both threaded rods in for the hardy frame. This is the template. There's also a lower part of the template as well that keeps both these threaded rods perfectly vertical in the right position. So when this, the hardy frame slides on, it slides on perfectly because you'll see in the hardy frame later on, it's a really strong engineered wall and there's not much wiggle room. So you have to keep these things perfectly straight. Okay, when we last saw these foundations were empty, we filled them with concrete, and we saw our bolts for our templates for our hardy frames. And I keep on mentioning hardy frames. What is a hardy frame? You know, I said it's a strong shear wall. Okay, here's the, uh, the other side of the garage door opening. That's a hardy frame right there. So those bolt holes sit right down there, and you'll see that next. So that steel wall acts in place of, you know, six feet or eight feet of shear wall, bring it to plywood. So you bolt down here, bring it up here, and bolt to a header all the way across to that hardy frame right there. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, and the final part of the hardy frame, which is an engineered shear wall basically, is this right here. That's the end result. So you have these two steel frames which are equal to about, a one foot steel frame is equal to about six or seven foot of regular plywood shear wall. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Those are the bolts we put in. That's a special uh, socket for them. So hey, where's that other? Is it a nut? So that's what it looks like right there. And then we use just these SDS screws. There's just one tacked in there right now to hold that header up. And that acts as lateral shear. Pretty simple.